What's up, everybody? Let's dive on into today's story. This is following up on MSNBC's Morning Joe. Regular viewers of MSNBC were treated to quite the surprise on Monday morning when Morning Joe co-host Joe Scarborough and Mika Brzezinski revealed that they had visited Mar-a-Lago and spoken to Donald Trump for 90 minutes. That's right, the famously anti-Trump pair who have claimed that Trump was engaged in something approaching fascism, if not outright fascism, went to go hang out with that fascist. Oh, no! Explaining their decision to viewers, Mika said this, For those asking why we would go speak to the president-elect during such fraught times, especially between us, I guess I would ask back, why wouldn't we? And guess what? I think, this might be the first time I've ever said this, Mika Brzezinski makes a valid point. Journalists, other media figures, and political pundits should be in conversation with political figures on both sides of the aisle, even if they find their policies distasteful or profoundly wrong-headed. Oh, no! Refusal to meet with the other side is exactly how echo chambers develop. It's unhealthy, and it contributes to a monoculture in the media in which the mainstream progressive elites who speak for major media institutions don't understand the other half of the country. But maybe Morning Joe viewers are experiencing whiplash. After all, Scarborough and Brzezinski have attacked other members of the media for, quote, normalizing Donald Trump. Now they're doing the same and in turn are facing some unhinged attacks from their own colleagues and media allies. Uh, allies excuse me. Katie Fang, an MSNBC host, wrote on X this morning that, quote, normalizing Trump is a bad idea, period. Now, she did not mention Joe and Mika, but it was a clear response to them. MSNBC contributor Jennifer Rubin said the meeting with Trump was disgusting. She also later called for a boycott of that program on the network she works for. We'll see how long that lasts. What? Uh, and other unnamed MSNBC employees told Fox News that Joe and Mika were cynical opportunists for abandoning their previous anti-Trump stance. Now, to be fair, it's not exactly wrong to call them cynical opportunists. Joe and Mika have read the writing on the wall, and they know that MSNBC is hemorrhaging viewers, and that hyperbolic, emotional, fatalistic coverage of Trump will not win them new voters, no, new viewers. Trump just won a massive victory, a bigger victory than in 2016. There just aren't enough Americans who are persuaded that Donald Trump is a fascist and are going to tune in to a flailing television news channel to hear more about that. All right, guys. So we have a nice continuation of this story on our hands. Hope you guys are having a great day today. You watch your own air with Nick Java. Nick Java podcast. So Joe Scarborough and Mika Brzezinski. Look, guys. They are indeed cynical opportunists. Uh, Mika and Joe are pivoting, not because they've suddenly become open-minded and interested in hearing from diverse perspectives, but because they know their perspective isn't profitable enough. All right, guys, it's very easy to tell what is going on here when it comes to uh, Joe Scarborough and Mika. I, just because, like what Robbie mentioned right there, guys, people that watch this show are very, 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 very depressed over the election results. They had their hosts there telling them that Kamala Harris is going to walk away with this, with this election. She's going to, she's going to just, you know, it's, it's going to be, they're going to destroy Trump. And then after this election, all of us realized <laughs> that's not what happened. So when you, they're either depressed to where they don't want to watch them. Or, you know, people just are not believing. They're not believing. These stories that, that TV shows like Morning Joe are putting out there. No one's with it. You know? They see the writing on the wall. They know. Joe Scarborough knows. It's getting close to the end. They know all about MSNBC maybe, maybe being sold. Oh, no. And if that happens, whoever buys that is going to probably want to do away with that show being it has been very toxic. It has been uh, just not good. You know, it's been hemorrhaging viewers ever since the election due to viewers feeling like they've been lied to. It's never good to lie to your base, regardless if you have 
10 people to watch you or if you have 10,000 or 10 million. It's very important not to lie to your base. And this is what Joe and Mika have been doing the past couple years. Liberals are calling for a boycott of MSNBC because of shows like Morning Joe that have, have wanted Democrat voters and liberal voters to not have anything to do with those fascists across the aisle. They are in a constant echo chamber with one another. They do not want to associate with you. Oh, no. And then the left gets completely ran over in this election. And guess what? Joe and Mika, they are cynical opportunists who see the writing on the wall, who are now normalizing according to their own ridiculous and stupid rhetoric. Donald Trump. Oh, no. Who they should have normalized years ago. Guys, it's too funny. Let's get it. I say it's better to broaden your horizons for cynical reasons than to not broaden them at all. The Views' lone right of center voice, Alyssa Farrah Griffin, funny, agreed bro. with me and said so yesterday in a segment. She said, I've heard a lot of folks on the left coming after Joe and Mika saying, don't normalize him. Well, 75 million plus Americans voted, voted to normalize Donald Trump Thanks. by making him president elect. She was met with stunned silence from her colleagues. And then finally, Sonny Hostin chimed in with this excellent take. <laughs> the bottom line is that America needs a free press that is willing to speak truth to power right now, more than ever. She has no idea. Man. And I think that, you know, guys, some people are just so far out there on a limb. It's like, there's nothing you can do to like help bring them in, bro. There's like, there's some people like Sunny that is just, she's just so far out there, man. It's like, what are you doing? Oh, no. Guys, some people are so far out on a limb, they just don't get it. Sunny is one of those people, and she just don't get it, bro. Everybody's got that friend that just don't understand 2 plus 2 equals 4, man. Sunny is one of those human beings. You know, you can explain a lot to her, and they're just, they just don't get it. She don't get it, bro. We have to be very clear-eyed when we think about the president-elect and cover the president-elect. And I don't think you need to sit down for 90 minutes at Mar-a-Lago and kiss his ring to be able to speak truth and to be able to cover a story. So maybe they're not journalists in the true sense. Maybe they're saying that they're opinion general uh, journalists. But we have to remember that Trump is the guy who ushered in the era of fake news. He is the guy who ushered in alternative facts. He is the guy who attacked three black female journalists. He's the guy that revoked Jim Acosta's press credentials for asking him a question. And so I think that this president elect, I hate to say it, um, would like nothing more than to have only Fox News cover him, would like nothing more than a state sponsored media. And um, I don't think he can be trusted in the way that other presidents can be trusted. It's it's it always comes down to identity politics with the view, race, sex, gender. It's like the brain can't think outside of the box. This is why the Democrat Party lost this past election, because people like Sonny believe the biggest issue was abortion. Well, guess what, Sonny? Um, women actually are multifaceted, wonderful thinking, beautiful creatures, uh, very intelligent. Um, not you so much, Sonny, but a lot of other women are like that, that are actually not just opinionated, ridiculously thinking, one dimensional human beings that actually can look at things and go, well, you know what else is important to me? The economy. What else? Oh yeah. The things that my kids read in school. Oh yeah. What else? The fact that I want my biological daughter to be able to play sports and not get ran over by a biological man. You know, Sonny, the, the irony that Sonny can talk about legit, legitimate uh, journalistic ideas and ideologies is freaking hilarious to me. You know, The View is a cesspool of super ultra liberal viewpoints that nobody takes serious. That's the reason they're always on shows like this one 
because it's so ridiculous. You can't even believe anybody's thinking this. You know, it's such a small portion of the population. And guys, you know, everybody should have the freedom to say what they want. However, I do see in the future the bullhorn is going to be taken away from ridiculous and damaging voices like Sonny Houston in the future. You guys be safe. Take care. It's great to talk to you guys. Be safe. Oh, no.